Well, we'll get to the Dunfermline goal scorers here today. Callum Hingabotham and Ryan Williamson, delighted with the outcome, I'm sure. Callum. Aye, absolutely. Um, you know, first and foremost, you know, I get the three points. Um, we had a lot riding on the day. Um, you know, the gap the score sheet as well was, was magnificent, but, you know, for the big man to get his goal as well was, you know, the icing on the cake. Um, he did tell me at half time he was going to score, so, you know, hopefully he'll get a couple more in the playoffs, but, you know, absolute brilliant day for the, for the pair of us, and, you know, we just look forward now to the playoffs. <coughs> yeah, you made a sweat a while for that opening goal, Ryan, but uh, a good time for it to come. Oh, I definitely. It's been a while. That's what we're saying. It's about four or five years, about 100 and odd peer appearances, and even in that time, I've not even had that many chances. But when it, when it came in the day, I just kind of it got stuck in my legs a wee bit, but I just kind of poked it through, and I've never been so so relieved to see it at the net. Yeah, we could see that from the, the celebrations, <laughs> I think. They enjoyed it, yep. And Callum, you set the ball rolling with a, a couple of great strikes in the, the first half, and really that was what the team needed to settle things down. Yeah, you know, and <clears throat> you know, when I look back on my performance, you know, I started the game, you know, sloppy, and the gaffer was giving me a bit on the sideline, um, you know, but there's, there's no better way to, you know, shut him up um, by scoring like that. So, you know, it was brilliant. It was brilliant to get the, the two goals, and I, I thought I was unlucky not to get the third, especially with a strike, you know, that hit the bar. Um, you know, but it's all about you know team performance, and I think you know we're on a, a fantastic run at the minute, and you know we've just got to keep that going. Like the gaffer said in the dress, dressing room there, you know that's 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 it over with now. The league's done, and the hard work starts now, and you know we've got a great chance, a, a wonderful chance, you know, to get us into the Premier League. And I've said that all season. I think that's where the club belongs, and you know fingers crossed, and hopefully we can keep the performances up and, and get the, the, get the club into the Premier League. Yeah, you want to this season to keep going for as, as long as possible and that starts on Tuesday night, Ryan. Tough opposition to the United. Oh, right, of course it'll be you know, about well, two difficult <coughs> games, but you know, with this the call we've got in that dressing room that we are more than capable of, of going in and, and getting through that tie. Um we've been on a, a great run recently. Um, so as like you said, we just want to keep keep the performances up and keep playing it the way we can and I'm sure we'll be we'll we'll come through the, the tie and get ourselves into the semis. From your own point of view, you played every league game this season. Probably unfortunate that uh, you've got a suspension looming. You're yeah. going to miss one of these games. So that's what Callum says. It's a team game. Somebody else will come oh, in. One hundred percent. I think what I just said there with, with, the, with the quality we've got in the squad. I know somebody will get a chance. They'll come in and, and they'll and they'll do well. Um, as I said, it was unfortunate to to get that that suspension, but it's a uh, it's a team game, and I'll be uh, I'll be cheering the boys on for the for the game that I miss. One hundred percent. And Callum, you've worked up a good partnership with this man on the right wing in the, the course of the season, and that's <coughs> borne fruit today. But similarly, you know, there's other people can come in, do a job. Joe Cardo come in and fed Ryan for his goal. So mm -hmm. there's attacking threats throughout the team. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, the you know the the partnership that me and Big Rizal's got has has been unbelievable throughout the season. Um, you know, he went a bit missing when I was out of the team. Um, you know, but that's that's how it goes. Um, you know, we've we've connected and we work together really well in training, and you know it, it bears fruit on a on a Saturday. Um, you know, long may that continue. You know, I know the big man will, will move on to bigger and better things. You know, he's got a, a bright future ahead of him. Um, you know, I just hope it's it's not any time soon, and you know we can keep this partnership going. Um, but absolutely, you know the the squads. You know, very strong at the minute. Everyone's you know fighting fit and. And what a good time, um, you know, going into the playoffs. You know, a couple of people are, are close to suspension, so you know we, we know if we do pick up suspensions, and there's, there's people that can come in and fill the gap with without no problem. Talked with the manager about the support you got from the fans, and also a bit of inspiration from the 1968 Cup winning team who will be joining you at the Player of the Year Awards tonight. Ryan, you're a local lad, you, you know what that means. Oh, I definitely agree with saying it means everything. Um, it was just great to see the to the boys and support them. So we saw Sir Alex Ferguson was before the before the, in the changing room and that before the game. So it was a, it was really motivating to see to see a, a legend like that kind of right, like round about the the club and taking in the game. And it'll be a I definitely be a, a good uh, kind of oh yeah, show of respect later on by seeing the the achievement that the 1968 squad made. Were you turn against United? Do you think, guys? Absolutely, Definitely. you know they've been a bogey team um, since I've been there. Um, you know, but we can take massive positives out of the last last game we played. You know, that Tanner Dice, I thought we, we we should have come away with a three points. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not standing there being big headed. I know how hard it's going to be, but you know we've got absolutely nothing to fear. Um, you know, if we go with the same attitude we have over the last you know 10, 11 games, then you know I can I can only see us winning the tie. Um, I think you know they'll probably have the same you know mentality and. 
I think they'll go and win the tie, so you know it's, it's got all, all the makings of a, a fantastic game.